In Uganda, there are traditions that need to be guarded jealously, among which are the century-old child naming ceremony among the lower speakers of the the lowest speaking Jobadola in eastern Uganda. In this tradition, two chickens are used to determine the child's name, and amazingly, a name that is given to the child must be of a person who left a legacy. Let's have the story in the following feature. We bring you some of the people who have lived through and experienced this sacred tradition that has started to get adopted by other regions too, including Busoga and Buganda. According to Mzee Alexander Okongo, the selected names have got consequences among us the Japadola, which is why this ritual of two chickens is invoked to determine the child's name. Previously, when a child is born, a child is given to suck. And through sucking, a child can refuse. A child refuses. And by refusing with a child, when a child refuses, remain crying very terribly. Now what you do is say, now as this child is crying very terribly, let us give a name. Then they pretend giving a certain name. And if the child is still refusing, they take two names. And with the two chickens, they will name, said, here I give you the name Okongo, here I give you the name Opendi. Then they threw that chicken up. You see, look, it is up. <laughs> the chicken that gives the child a name has to then be reared with care until the child gets to a certain age. When the child has grown up to the extent of picking something to eat, uh, that chicken is slaughtered. And when it's slaughtered, a certain meat of a cow is also bought because you cannot kill a cow for the child. Now, after that, we will eat and they have also a pounded nini, sim sim. There, all the people, when they sit, they, they have malwa. Eh, they keep sucking certain malwa. And when they do that, they are happy because their children, a child has got a new name. And the child is also happy. The child has eaten with them. And all, when all that thing comes down or comes up properly, it means the other clan has done good and perfect thing. When the child eventually gets to the preferred age, it is then that the ceremony is officially concluded with feasting, drinking and celebrating, and the chicken by which a name is selected is roasted and eaten at the feast as well. So in that celebration they bring in uh, the millet bread without any cassava, without mixing. Uh, then they bring in sim sim, pounded sim sim, they don't put salt on the, the chicken. In fact, all those sauces, they don't put salt. They just eat like that. And then after that, the child has been named. The child will be taken to the church, then the church will name the, the person. Because previous people don't, don't have name of the church. And when that thing happens, it means the child has grown and at a perfect. We have reached the position of well-being a child and welcoming another one from the stomach of the mother and that is what is done. Alexander however worries that these traditions could die out and says clan heads should try and point them out to their communities. Hey. It has to be noted that names in the system are carefully selected. They name you according to your record. If you are that person who used to have very bad record, either you are a thief, a womanizer, because when a child is named after a womanizer, will automatically become a womanizer times three. When a child is named after the other murderer, will become a murderer. So they choose that name, which was good. When you had good character on earth, is when they name you. And the, long ago, they don't name you when you're still alive. They wait to die, and then they name you after the good thing you left on earth. The chairperson says there is, however, more to this tradition than meets the eye. According to the culture, this woman, the mother to the child, don't sit near to the grandfather of the child. It is indiscipline, so you have to sit far away from your, your father-in-law, so that you stay away, you don't sit near. Mm. 
that's what you do. And you eat there with your fellow women, while the other old people also eat separately, in celebration of the new child. This feature story was compiled by Bambala Zabwe Semakula for the news in Tororo District.